is one of my favorite ones. We finally got it down to the part where I can take this out to the schools and show kids how to make gummy worms. So that's what this is all about. I love this. That's awesome. Right. And so it's an at-home one. You can do this at home easily, cool. and I like to do that. Okay, so mm -hmm. goggles on, gloves that's on. You've got to be safe. So I'm going to have you guys do this one for me. All right. So we have crystallization dishes here, and then we have, you each have a solution of 2% calcium chloride. So open it up. Okay. Fill it out, you can fill it about halfway up or halfway, so. Halfway, halfway yeah. with this. What is this called? Calcium chloride. Calcium, calcium chloride. chloride. Calcium chloride. So it usually starts off as a solid. So there is calcium in gummy worms. Uh, sure. Okay, <laughs> I knew they were healthy. Is Ish, that good? Yeah, that's so fine. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Add a little bit more, Kelly. Just a little bit more. Right. That's perfect. Okay, so calcium chloride, and then each of these are filled with 2% sodium alginate, and I've pre-colored them for you, so hopefully All one right. of these is a good color. But basically what you're going to do is just squirt the sodium alginate directly into the calcium chloride, and by when you're ready, right. go for it. And then the big thing is you kind of count to five. So it's one Mississippi, right. two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five. Okay, that's four, good enough. Five. And then you can slowly... Oh, wow. oh my gosh, how cool. Oh my gosh. Isn't that neat? That is amazing. Ah, it's real. Ah, it's real. How did you come up with this experiment? Well, it's actually really funny because this is a classic oh molecular gastronomy experiment or food chemistry, right? So fancy chefs, that's what they like to call themselves. This and so, so what fun. they do, yes. And so if you've ever been to a nice cocktail bar or something where you have a martini and they have a yeah. little olive in there, it's fancy, uh -huh. this is how they make that. That's and so, so really like, Yes, and you can eat it. But I actually had this in my lab, so we're not going to eat this. Yeah. Right. But if you go to Amazon and buy food grade calcium chloride and food grade sodium alginate, you can wild. do this with your kids. It's $17 yeah. max, and then it's completely, completely easy to and eat. Enjoy it. I love it. Excited and science. about science. Yes. And it's safe. And it's safe. Totally safe. That's so cool. So the sweetness when you taste it, is it sweet like a gummy worm? Nope. Um, this definitely tastes like algae. Uh, oh. It's not. <laughs> it's not the best. Right, um, it's 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 so what I do at home is I actually use a watermelon puree. So you smash up the watermelon, okay. take the puree, and so you use the watermelon juice and dissolve the sodium alginate in the juice, and then that way it tastes like watermelon, oh. and that's much much better. Wow, that's pretty cool. I want to keep going on this. I want a big wad. I want a big wad. No, and this is the board. Boring one out of all the ones I brought. Is this really? This I love so you. Got you guys me, you are got, easy. You had me a gummy. I love oh, all yeah, the yeah, right, gummy worms, gummy bears, yeah, gummy algae. Two, three, four, five. Let's Perfect. do them all. all right. Okay. Kind of oh yeah. Like go, 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 go for it. Go for it. So we're gonna do three, four, five, and then we just pull it out, right? Just pull it out. Yeah. Ew. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hey. I found this once in a lake, actually. So that's perfect. Ew. Yeah, beautiful. It really does look like algae. Oh, that's wow. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, algae, alginate, that's where it came from. Let's go, let's move on. Let's okay, move we're on. going. What, what's next? Okay, let's this stay. is probably one of my second favorite ones. Actually, well, I don't want to do it then. What, why? I'm kidding, it's your oh. second favorite one. Okay, okay. I was like, come on, it's <laughs> awesome. Okay, so this is called elephant's toothpaste. And so what's going to happen? Elephant's oh. toothpaste. Elephant's okay. toothpaste. So we're going to make something that, in theory, we could use to then brush an elephant's tooth. So hopefully it will wow. be kind of big enough. Do like elephants that. have teeth? Who knows? We'll just pretend. I think so, right? Right, they eat stuff. Plants. Yeah. It's all good. We'll pretend. We'll pretend. For yeah. the sake of this, they have huge teeth. Great okay. teeth. So what I want you to do is add the hydrogen peroxide here. Okay. About go. half of it, maybe you less than half. Right. half. I can do it. Okay, you can do it. Do what? You got it. So all right. Half half yep, about half. Half of this. Half oh, half of this. Yeah, not half of this. <laughs> yeah. I like, I like okay. your thought process. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is 35% hydrogen uh -oh. peroxide. So that's H2O2. So at home, you usually use 5% peroxide. So if you ever had a cut and you put it on there and it bubbles and turns white, that's the same type of stuff. Okay. But we want a big demonstration, so we're going to use 35%. That's beautiful. Yeah. I'll take that. Perfect. Okay, so, oh, thank you. I was like, where'd right. that go? Is there, like, besides the effect of it like going all crazy and awesome and visual is there something that kids can like learn from this like the, the, the when you put chemicals together or anything oh you beat me to it absolutely so this is something that I use to teach basically any concept that I want to so uh -huh. kinetics thermodynamics um you could even talk about homogeneous versus heterogeneous you can talk about food diet I mean anytime you want to just do something fun in your classroom do this and then just start talking about science because it relates to everything and you'll absolutely. see why I wish you were my teacher oh yay that makes me so happy <laughs> <laughs> and dance instructor apparently <laughs> I see why your kids love you. Oh my God! I, I see. But why, why be boring in science class? Why do right. that? Like it's, that's happened to all of us at some science class across the world. Like with every time you've been in class. But I just I hate that. And so yeah. my goal at UT or the University of Texas is literally just to change that. We want to make this mm -hmm. fun, and this is one way. That's Absolutely. Great. Okay, I love going. that. So take all that, right. dump it all in. All, all of it. it. All of it. All of it. Yeah. What and is this, that? this is dish soap. I use Dawn dish soap because I'm obsessed with penguins, and they save penguins. Yeah, they yes. do. They do, right? I love Dawn <laughs> too. A middle name Dawn. There you go. I'll Is it really? You that. I, I was named that. after the dish detergent. Oh my goodness! What a wonderful thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we can make this make a certain color. Nice. What color do you want your toothpaste to be? Periwinkle. Okay. Good. Uh, make that happen. Is I don't know. What do I don't know how to do that. <laughs> this one, this one, right? uh, blue and let's red. Make it, let's make it visual. This one's blue the most visual, right? Okay. Blue and red would be blue good. And red that's is that's purple, yellow. Right? That's fine. Okay. Right? Throw it in there. Throw it in there. Yellow. Blue and red make purple. That is correct. Yellow ochre. 
Yeah, yeah beautiful. That's even yellow. Titanium white. That's yellow. Good. How much? How much? How much? Just how, how much you want. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. good. Do you want to put some Doesn't look too? yellow. Nope. Mm -mm. Not But that's yet. okay. We added. What did we add? Blue, yellow, and a little bit of red. So here is our wonderful concoction. It's It looks like what I drink every morning. My swamp juice. Oh, gross. She drinks the green juice. I do the ginger greens and all that. That's because you're healthy. No, it's good. It's good. Okay. Um. So what I'm going to do now is add my potassium iodide. So this is my catalyst. This is the favorite part. So I'm going to dump it in, and then basically I'm going to take a couple steps back. So I'm going to ask you to step back first, just because I don't want you to trip, and you're wearing awesome shoes. All right. Ready? You guys ready? This is yes, the part. It's the moment, right? Oh, okay, please. It's don't gonna hit explode the onto a light. Okay. Please don't hit the ceiling. Okay, this here we go. This is the end of our One, show, everybody. Two and three. No, it's not. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's so good. My God. Oh, it's still going. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh look, it's up there on the light and the ceiling. <laughs> oh, it is. It is. Yes. Oh my. It? Man. Oh. One. That was a good one. Oh, the ghost oh wow. Busters. It's all over the place. So that Look is why you got right on fake feeling. <laughs> so we broke apart hydrogen peroxide. We're releasing oh. oxygen gas. It's trapped in the dish. So it's